Well, hey there, guys. It's Retro Geek out here. This morning, I went out to a collector's fair. Usually, it's just trains and like little toy cars, but sometimes you get lucky, like today. You find. So yeah, me and my buddy each bought some stuff over there. I'm looking for games, but I can't seem to find games. It seems like every video I put out is like toy haul, toy haul, this, toy haul, that. I am still collecting for games. Don't worry about that. I did pick up one thing out there. Uh, I picked up this Nintendo GameCube little wallet. Yeah. Just uh, a little wallet thing they probably gave with, with some kind of promotion, not sure uh, which one or anything, but it looked kind of cool. Pay three euros for this, and I was I was glad with that because the other stuff I was interested in, gaming wise, was um, kind kind of out there. I mean, you put prices on on your stuff the way you want to price it. I saw an N64 controller, a green one in the box, which I didn't have, and the lady was asking 20, which is actually quite okay, but she didn't want to budge on pricing. So I'm usually them just like, well, then I don't need it. <laughs> if you're not even gonna work with me on price. Apart from that, there was one other really cool thing, a Game Watch tabletop. So these are like the little tabletops you could actually play with from the 80s. This one was in the box. I think it was Mario's Cement Factory. Really cool looking, really awesome, but a 300 euro price tag on that thing. That's probably what it is worth, maybe. The condition could have been a bit better to really take that value. I'm trying to find this stuff, you know, cheaper. So that's why I did um, do did set up a trade for a couple of street sharks. I had bought a lot in the last video. Link up here and link down below in description. My buddy Kevin, he was like, "Yeah, man, I, I have some stuff with me. We we can trade." this for some of these street sharks that you have doubles of that I still need so I brought him over four street sharks he did not yet have and I got away with a couple things from his boot so yeah here we have it all this stuff I traded for four street sharks this is a Tunner Cats Berserker this one is called Hammer Hand uh, as you can probably tell by the really big hand he's got over here he is missing one of these little pieces that connects over into something else Still need to figure out how to do that, but uh, yeah, cool adding a Tunner Cats figurine I didn't have. Also added one of my, uh, one of the Master of the Universe toys. So this is Ram Man, got some kind of function where he shoots up like that. Very cool, I am going after all of the figurines loose 
by Master of the Universe now. That is going to be one of my collecting goals for 2020. I should probably do like a collecting goal video. This is Dr. Paranoid or Dr. Piranha from Street Sharks. So he, he also had Street Sharks. He had one double. This was that dude. He is missing the one missile piece over here. I found one G1 Transformer. I think this guy is called Tailgate. I'm learning about Transformers, but uh, the little white bumpy car. Definitely not sure how he transforms, but this like his little face over here kind of looks like Bumblebee, but you know, just a bit cooler. I, I think he's a bit cooler, this dude. Then I also got two real Ghostbuster ghosts. This is the one gate that came with like the, the little trap car thing. I'll probably have to put an image up on that. And this one, I'm not sure what he came with, but uh, also a... Uh, also a Ghostbusters thing, and he looked really cool. This is one I played with like back in the day, so 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 much with. Um, he he kind of feels more rubbery than the other ones. I'm not I'm not sure why that is, but uh, he's cool. He's. Good. I saw this in a baggie in one of his boxes, and I was like, oh. I need you guys. These are some of the food changeables or the McDonald's Transformers from I think the 80s. Is this from the 80s? Yeah, 1988. So this is a hamburger and you can open him up and he transforms just like that. So that's one. And then we have some magic fries over here. Not sure how this guy transforms. So those are some <laughs> McDonald's food changeables is what they called them back in the day so that's pretty neat um yeah got all this stuff traded it for four of my street sharks which you probably saw in the little collection of clips i popped in front of this little part right here and let's see what else we can find over there okay guys so this was basically the first pickup of the day there is a big turtles pre-deal i had already made which you're gonna see at the end of the video but yeah this was just something i saw and the price tag on it was 45 euros i hardly ever see any thundercat stuff in box or even on card so i was like uh, is it complete the guy said yeah it is complete my buddy confirmed it box is in okay shape the colors have faded a little bit and definitely over here on this side but i mean all the parts are there the the toy inside is complete and this is the mutant nose diver by thundercats so i was like yeah i i'm, I'm gonna go for this he um allowed me to take five euros off of it so i had I, in the end i paid 40 euros for this one which is pretty good in my opinion pretty pretty nice deal i got there like early in the morning we moved past this one boot that had really cool gi joe stuff and i saw this box with another Thundercats thing in there then later later on it turned out to be somebody I knew and I was like yeah I'm gonna definitely ask for another Thundercats thing because I already have this one now today so I gotta grab it but this guy had so much cool stuff with him he had lots of really cool G.I. Joe things um, he had like the Cobra like this really cool helicopter from G.I. Joe Cobra which has like the spinning blades I don't know how it's supposed to work, but it looked really, really cool. Um, and he also had like a Thunder Punch, He-Man on card. So many cool things out there, but also this Thundercats item. Now, as you can definitely tell right away, the colors on this one are better. The top thingy over here is a bit more bent, so I'm gonna have to work that out a bit. But this is the Mutant Sky Cutter. So, yeah, another one really nice. Uh, vehicle by Thundercats. This one still has the original inlay. Doesn't seem to have been played with too much actually. It's got the little booklet thingy in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty neat. <laughs> That's actually awesome. I love these little toy catalogs. It actually doesn't seem like it's been out of the box before because I mean even the sticker sheet hasn't been used yet. So this was definitely a, a, a good buy. So yeah, the box has a couple issues, but inside the toy is still kind of brand new. I paid a little more for this one. I paid around, what was it? I, I think 70, or was it 75, 75 maybe for this one, which is still kind of okay. My buddy Jody also gave me something. He came over with this book or magazine thing. And I'm like, I have no clue what this is. It's 
it's in French or something? No, it's it's in Dutch actually. Um, but he was like, no, check the back. And on the back, there's freaking uh, a commercial or like an advertisement by Nintendo for the NES set by the Turtles. Yeah, and if you open it up, there's even more like Nintendo stuff in here, which is freaking awesome. So. Thank you so much, Jody, for giving me this. I, I had to show you guys this cool thing. So, and right before we show you the last big pickup, I'm gonna tell you about this really cool toy convention my buddies are setting up. It's called Vintage Toys of the Universe. This is happening on the 6th of June. It's a Saturday. The entrance is one euro, and if you want a table that's like two meters long to set up your stuff, your vintage toys, you can actually set up over there for just 15 euros. Come and say hi if you're in the neighborhood. There's going to be a tons of vintage toys and probably some retro games. So check it out you know pop some stuff up here and one of the guys that's definitely gonna be at most of these conventions that you're gonna see me heading out to this year in 2020 is Laszlo because he's almost at every one of these and he always hooks me up with great stuff like this pre-made deal we had he was heading out to a deal and he showed some pictures to me I was like uh, this looks cool and he's like yeah but do you want something because I'm buying a lot do you need anything out of this and I was like oh well, sure man I'll, 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 I'll take some of these toys from you <laughs> I picked up this right here this is the bubble bomber so over here we can see it a little bit better this is the bubble bomber one of the toys i wanted as a kit an airplane that shoots bubbles but on the inside there is smoke so freaking cool dudes when battling the foot my motto is keep your feet planted except of course when you're in the air which brings us to the turtle bubble bomber our bubble bomber drops smoke filled bubble bombs boom a really awesome jet with really awesome bombs it is complete it looks freaking awesome uh you get you know turtle bell up there so yeah basically you would put fluids somewhere on the inside over here and that would be able to generate some kind of clouds or or bubbles with with clouded uh smoke inside which look really cool uh i think something leaked inside of the box and that's why some of the stuff uh, I just really need to clean this toy and it should actually be fine. So that is the Bubble Bomber by Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I already don't have enough room to show you the next pieces. One of the things that has been on my list for the longest time has got to be Mikey's Cowabunga Sand Buggy. That has got to be this one. Again, the European Tortue box. But on the other side you can see Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Uh, love the box art on this one. This is one I had as a kid, like I said before. And it's gonna come in handy because I still actually have my old toy. It's not complete anymore. This one is just missing one of these little uh, lights, headlights over here. Really cool toy, really cool buggy. I don't think this was ever featured in a cartoon, but I play with this so much back in the day. And now with my old toy I can actually complete this one and have a complete box copy there is one issue with the box right here you can see it um, probably a sticker or something got ripped off from that but it's still cool it's still cool and uh, then after a while he was like um, you know focusing reorganizing his goals for 2020 and he said like I'm gonna get rid of all my boxed uh, turtle stuff or at least most and he, he he knew I was interested in one of the other things he picked up over there. So in the end, he also ended up giving me this one right here. This is the Samurai Scooter. Um, really cool. This is one I also had as a kid. This one is complete. It's got all the little bells and whistles and guns and little trinkets like that. Um, what is cool about this thing is that it kind of ties in with the movie Turtles because well it, it definitely is movie Mikey up here there's one big sticker over here which I need to um, peel off but yeah still nice box nice nice condition box um, then when we actually started wanted to meet up over at this toy convention um, he called me up and it was like yeah I'm over at this boot they got like this cloth by Turtles it's five years do you want it 
I'm like, I'm not sure what you're telling me, but yeah, bring it along. So this is like one of these party table uh, claw things you would like bring over to a birthday party and have like, you know, some something clean, but something that you could easily clean when all your friends came over to your birthday party. But uh, yeah, your, your mom could just throw it away if it got too ruined. So this is one of those, and this was just five euros. This is awesome. So thank you so much, Laszlo, for hooking me up with all this stuff, and thank you so much for, you know, just uh, looking out for me, getting me this cool stuff, because, uh, like, you never see it as This is not something that every vintage TMNT collector collects, but it's still darn cool. That was it for this little haul right here. This Sunday morning was very productive. Thank you so much for watching. And as you can see in the back over here, uh, I kind of switched scenery because over there I'm working on that part of the game and toy room. We are gonna do a game and toy room tour very soon, so definitely stay tuned. And I will see you next week in the next video or on Thursday. I don't know when this is coming out. So yeah, stay safe and uh, see you next time. Bye.